Welcome back to Free Media. I'm Amber Duke. And I'm Ravi Suave. Well, Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch set CBS News straight during a recent interview. The right-leaning justice was told that the court is more partisan and more unpopular than ever. Here's how he responded. I read the other day that in ideologically divided cases, now I don't know what that means, this last term, that I agreed with Justice Sotomayor, Justice Kagan, and Justice Jackson something like 45% of the time. That's the court I know. But there are people who watch this right now and say, I thought I understood what Roe versus Wade meant in our country. I thought I understood what affirmative action in college admissions meant. And this court has told me I didn't understand what those things meant, and I wrongly relied on things that I thought were settled. What would you say to those? I'd say those are deeply complex legal questions on which reasonable minds can, of course, and do disagree. And then when it comes to Roe versus Wade, for example, what did the court decide? Decided that we, the people, should answer that question, not nine people sitting in Washington, D.C. How about affirmative action? Much the same thing. What did we decide? We decided that all people are created equal, that it's not acceptable in this country to uh, discriminate on the basis of race. So pretty good interview from Gorsuch, you know, schooling the interviewer on some basic matters with respect to the Supreme Court. You know, we're being told that this is just, the court is so divided and it's just, they just don't agree on anything and it's just relentless conservative right-wing policy is being shoved down the American people's throats. Um, lots of decisions are still 9-0 or 8-1. Um, uh, Gorsuch votes with the liberals um, a not at all trivial amount of the time. Um, there have been decisions that cut each which way with Amy Coney Barrett joining the liberals, the liberals joining the conservatives. It's just like not at all. The media wants you to focus on the high profile cases where yes, there's a 6-3 or a 5-4 split or something in favor of the right. Uh, despite all that, the Supreme Court, I always point out, <laughs> remains more popular than other branches of government. And, um, and it's just, it's not the, the, the portrait of it that the media paints as, as um, has gone, gone astray or gone amok. No, it's doing, you know, a more rigorous job than it's historically done of um, striking down what the court thinks are bad laws or violations of the Constitution. Sometimes I don't agree with it. A lot of times I do agree with them, and that's just the way it works. Yeah, and I think for the most part, these controversial decisions have been cases where, as Gorsuch alludes to in that interview, the power has been returned closer to the people, whether it's abortion, whether it's uh, the Chevron deference case with Loper Bright Enterprises, whether it's um, the abortion pill, right? Yeah. They, they wanted uh, conservatives wanted stricter regulations on that, and although I disagree with that decision, they decided to allow states the opportunity to give people access to Mifepristone. Um, affirmative action uh, seems pretty obvious to me, but yeah. alas, Same. you know, <laughs> but alas. But I, going into um, the the media interview here with Major Garrett, he did this thing that always really bothers me um, during interviews like this, which is he won't own up to the fact that he has issues right. with what Gorsuch has decided. So they pin it on many people are saying, or people watching this might say. And it's just a convenient way to skirt the fact that you are actually injecting your own opinion into the questions that you're asking by putting it on this amorphous, intangible they. Yeah, that's especially true with affirmative action, which is an issue that, yes, liberal elites want um, elite colleges to use race-based admissions, and basically no one else does. This is an issue that loses Democratic when it's voted on. Majorities of Democrats are against this policy. In California, it has been voted down multiple times because people don't like the idea of you getting special consideration based on your race to get approved for a job or approved to a to a college. That is an issue that, you know, only the Supreme Court in its previous amalgamation was able to find some special reason that, well, because diversity is really important, it's okay to practice object racial discrimination under these circumstances. Right, if you ask people about it, they mostly intuitively know that that's wrong or should be frowned upon. And yeah, it's been turned back to the states and that's a like time and time again and that's a good thing. Or it's been turned back or it's been said that they just can't do it because it violates rules against using explicit racial discrimination that have been voted on by legislatures. 
Yes, exactly. Um, and I, in these situations, like just cite somebody who disagrees right. with the justice. I mean, I'm sure there's a prominent liberal activist or some member of Congress who has a specific claim against it where you can just cite that instead of doing the many people are saying uh, sort of uh, scapegoat that I find so obnoxious with a lot of these interviewers. Um, but yeah, I thought Gorsuch handed himself yeah. well here. I know he has a book coming out, so I imagine we're going to see more of him in front of the media over the next couple of months, which I think is a good thing because when we've heard him speak and as well as Amy Coney Barrett and, and Kavanaugh and even John Roberts to an extent in the aftermath of the Dobbs leak, right. um, they have done a really nice job of conducting themselves and being professional and speaking explicitly to matters of the court, even in that undercover audio that came out of uh, Justice Alito recently, where some liberal progressive activist was trying to bait him into saying that he wanted a Christian nationalist <laughs> uh, country and that the court needs to get into political matters. He was very clear that they are that just there to dis decide the constitutionality of laws and to stay out of politics. And although there was a whole circus surrounding that video where the left tried to make it something that it wasn't, I think most Americans who actually watched it would say, okay, good, that's what the court's supposed to be doing. I feel a little bit reassured now. Absolutely. All right, more free media right after this.